Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. So, um, you guess it, we are still in rebuild mode. So this is a group of seekers. Uh, no levels, no... So they all have stress, which I think is still a bug. Not sure why that's happening. But four seekers, brand new. Um, I didn't do too much customization. Um, I did give him a new skill that I want to... Uh, train him on. I want to get rid of Inspiring Tune and give him Dirk Stab instead. Other than that, they are pretty much as I got them. So, basically don't want to spend a lot of money. Want to level them up, get them uh, get them going so we can get a new, new crew of healers built into the rotation. Um, so, it's a short mission because I don't like to take Seekers on anything other than short missions because they seem to uh, not fare so well at those. So, we're just going to make this little loop here until we complete 100% of room battles. So let's go ahead and get started. I was thinking before I started uh, recording that I was going to say the bit about how we're still rebuilding. And, even the earliest settlers. you know, thought to myself uh, that I'm starting to sound like a broken record. And I wondered, well, what is the modern equivalent of sounding like a broken record? Is there a modern equivalent of sounding like a uh, broken record? Not sure. Uh, let's see. We'll just go ahead and do some damage to these guys in the middle. The only thing I could really think of was like that, uh, you know, if a stream buffers or something and has to re <laughs> replay the bit you just heard. I, I, that happens a lot. I, uh, I use uh, Slain TV to stream cable shows, uh, mostly sports shows, and a lot of times. I'll hear the same bit twice because it'll buffer the stream and play it, but that's not really like not really like a broken record. Griping in the guts he got from these dudes. That's a new one. I'd like to check that out. Let's judge this maggot. So yeah, I don't know. You know, it's, you know, you, you know. Wow, spotted fever. Okay. See, they gotta tone this down. This is like a little, a little much. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Let's see what he got here. Griping in the guts. He has negative 20% heal skills while camping. He picked up spotted fever, so he's less resistant to blight. Um, I do have a little synergy here with the movement between these guys. He's got duelist advance. He's got. Um, What's the one he has that moves him forward? Dark Stab, and he's got Rampart. So he can kind of shuffle around a bit. So we'll probably play around with that a little bit. Not too much. I do want to put him back for now, though. Yeah, but anyway, you know, I didn't grow up with records. I obviously have listened to records, and I have gone to parties where people put on records. But, um, you know, we had CDs for a while. Those skipped. And then now that we're on to this... Uh, Let's use medicinal herbs on this thing. Pick up some food and some gold. So we got a ton of food now. We've already gone through our last shovel. But now that we have digital media, there's not really a lot of skipping. Nothing can skip like a broken record anymore. So it's just one of those things that's going to go away, right? So one benefit of picking up that food, we're not going to use it, but now you, that you can sell back food, um, you know, we'll make some money off of that, which will be nice. Probably not a lot of money, but it all adds up, and we certainly need it. Let's try Duelist here, and then we'll, uh, I probably won't Rampart back, I'll probably just use, he's got the uh, attack, I forget the name of it, Point Blank Shot, I think, where he... Uh, as knocks himself crumbles. backwards by the power of the shot, so we'll probably try that. No, we don't need it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow, a thousand gold. That's nice. Yeah, it might be better actually even having him in the front. So you can point blank right off the bat. 
They're just so uh, susceptible to diseases now. It's kind of crazy. Um, let's give him a battle ballot. And that's to everyone. Okay. Like, everything gives them diseases now. Nice dodges all around by everyone. Alright, so we'll point blank shot. Uh, we don't do the front guy, but it kills him, so that's nice. And then let's ramp up this dude. Let's judge him. Thought for sure he was gonna get another disease there. Alright, let's crush the maggot. It's a carrion eater, I know it's not a maggot, it has a name. Uh let's can we dirk stab this dude? Yeah, and he's dead, which is nice. We'll judge the wretch. And we'll duel this advance so get him back in position. That's actually pretty good. What is this? Lucky Be dice wary. for the jester. Triumphant pride precipitates more accuracy, and more dodge. Ball. Yeah, we'll take it. Oh. There we go. And then what is this? A sacrificial stone. Let's throw some holy water on that bad boy. Nothing. Let's just look at it. Sinful behavior is banished. Nocturnal quirk removed. Okay. That's cool. I didn't know that could happen. Alright, so an empty room. Empty room, so there must be combat in this room. Which is fine. At least we'll get to go through the whole thing for a change. Usually don't get to do that on these short missions. Holy water again. Some spiders. Oh, and it's dark. Didn't notice. Oops. Let's go ahead and get a stun then. Or you can just resist everything, that's fine too. One down. At least they're not the green ones, the green spiders are way worse. These guys just stun and mark you, so we'll be okay. And they must have certainly increased the amount of gold you can get. Another dinner cart. Uh, I don't have any more herbs, so we'll leave that alone. Trap in the next room. Probably going to be him. He's got 40, 30, 10. Yeah, it's pretty much always the highwayman, but you got to check it out. Alright, let's see if we can get this. He does. I think we're going to be alright here. Probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Because it's kind of when the game... It's one of those games that can hear you, you know? I don't know if you've ever played any of those. Uh, you start bragging about how you're going to beat it. Wow, a thousand gold. Look at this. This is amazing. Start bragging about how you're going to beat the game and, uh, you know, it amps up the difficulty on you. Binding of Isaac uh, is a classic version of one of those games. All right, so we are headed into the last room. We're hungry. We've got plenty of food, though. Um, what is this again? Occult scrawlings. Throw some holy water on that. Uh-oh. There we go. He loses his dodge. All right. Light up the torches to full before we go in. Maybe we can get a surprise. A blazing star is born. And we do. Awesome. Let's battle ballot. No, we can't from this position. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to Dirk Stab then. Let's go ahead and judge here and get the kill. Getting those early kills is so important. Because 
the more stuff you can take out later or earlier then you can start you can use turns to heal later and not worry that something's going to come back and undo your heal basically like right now we don't really have to worry about healing so we can judge the drummer if we miss that's fine now let's uh, battle ballot oh, this is solo okay i'll dirk stab again then He's not in the position to battle ballot, which is okay. Let's get this maggot taken care of. He can't do anything. Let's do this. Debuff him. Shoot him again. Still not dead. Hopefully we can get a judge off and win this. Miss dodge, miss dodge looks like. Perfect. Oh, and we missed him. Alright, can he hit him with anything? Can he just yell at him and kill him? <laughs> That's awesome. Alright. Seize this momentum. Take everything, please. Alright, we want to continue adventuring so we can at least check out this chest. It's unlocked. A little more gold, another jewel. Perfect. So yeah, let's check out this gold hall. It's gonna be a ton, I believe. Have never happened. You are doing just work. So we're selling food back for like 15 each. It looked so looked like so. You know, finding that extra food card actually got us some extra gold. So that's something to pay attention to. So we made nine thousand uh, dollars or nine thousand gold on that mission. That's awesome. Let's see here. And they all get to level one, which is great. Robust, that's good. Prone to stealing and a Warren's adventure. Obsessed with sainthood, hard noggin, and a wheel of tactician. So not nothing too terrible. Let's go back to town, see what's happening. I wanted to do another cove mission uh, on this episode, but there's only a champion and a veteran available or there was the only a champion and a veteran. The hamlet is nothing I fear when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. All right. So I had um I do eat our other uh, occultists getting some stress recovered and Funaru or Funaro here lost 500 gold uh while I had his night out on the town but he didn't recover his stress. So let's get everybody a quick level sort real quick. So yeah, these are level ones, sort of our, you know, our batch of new recruits that we're leveling up. Um, Aguilon is now at level one. Where is, uh, where's Madit? There he is. He's level one as well. So we've got four level one healers now. That's awesome. Uh, before we wrap up the video, let's check out the stagecoach and kind of see what's going on. Who do we want to add? Let's give a uh, class sort here. I don't think I have any uh, grave robbers. I rarely do because I seem to recruit them and then they go to their grave very quickly. She doesn't have too bad of traits. I don't know that I need anybody else really right now. I wouldn't mind having another bounty hunter. That's kind of really what I want. Another bounty hunter, maybe another uh, hound master. Let's see what this guy's got. Deviant taste. Not allowed to visit the brothel and will only meditate. He's got, he's kind of like got what I like though. Don't necessarily like cry havoc, but that's just because I never use it. But he's got hounds rush and hounds hairy which I really enjoy. I like guard dog on my uh, on my Hellmasters, but I'm gonna grab this guy. Uri. A lawman and his faithful beast. A bond forged Let's see if anything unlocked. Okay, so now we do have some new cove missions as well. So that'll be good. That's probably what we'll do next time because I can unlock a boss there and take out another uh, low level boss. If we take a look here the siren should be available to us as soon as we unlock them so that's kind of what i want to focus on with these new people growing up 
probably wait till I get them to level two and threes before I take on bosses, but uh, you know, we can take out this medium apprentice mission now that we have some level ones and go from there. But that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you all next time.